Hi, it's Mr. Baumgarten with another Microbit video for you. Uh, and today we are going to have some fun getting uh, NeoPixels up and running. So I've got this big ribbon of uh, NeoPixels, 30 of them on this one LED strip. We've got some uh, little smaller ones for you to experiment with in class. Uh, but if you get something creative that um, warrants needing more LEDs, then let me know, because I do have a couple of these ribbons that you can use in class time. To wire up your NeoPixels, uh, you'll have three wires, and the, so the way they work is the ground uh, is the black, right? the red goes on to the three bulbs, and then the white can go on any of the 0, 1 and 2. Now I'm actually going to recommend you, <clears throat> you may want to put it on 1 or 2, and the reason is is because uh, I had suggested in the music video that you um, put together a light show uh, for a song. And so if you're wanting to do that, you need pin zero for your, the music. So we will put this one onto pin one like that. Okay, and so now that's wired up and ready to go. So let's take a look in my code. And already I've got a line here I'm going to have to change. Uh, but so the, we need these three lines to start up uh, to use NeoPixels in our program. So like every other project, we import everything for the micro bit and we need to import the NeoPixel functionality into Moo. And then we're going to create a variable called, in my case, I'm just going to call it LEDs because uh, it's a ribbon of LEDs. And the LED is a set of NeoPixels and it is the white wire is on pin one and my ribbon has 30 LEDs in it. So here, this number must be set to however many LEDs are on your ribbon. So again, my students using the little uh, sets in class, you've got eight LEDs on your ribbon, so that number needs to be in eight. But I've got 30, so I'm keeping that as 30 for me. For me. Then the other thing we need to do is have some colors uh, and so if I just, um, we use, so basically the, this creates, effectively it's a list of the LEDs. And so we can specify each individual item, each individual LED and set what value we want it to equal. Now for the way programming languages count is the first item is always zero and then it's one, two, three, four, five. So that first LED is LED zero. So I'm saying, okay, so in my set of LEDs, from my list of LEDs, give me item zero, and I'm gonna set it to 255, 255, 255. I'm gonna explain what these numbers do in a second. And then I'm gonna say LEDs dot uh, show, and I'm just gonna flash that just to light up this first LED, and then we'll talk through what's going on. So as soon as it's finished loading, there we go, it is on and it is very bright. So what is happening here? I'm saying take the first LED and assign it to this. Now these LEDs are RGB LEDs. The RGB stands for red, green, blue. So the color white, if you are familiar with the color spectrum, is made up of red, green, and blue light. And so we can specify and control the amount of red that we want, the amount of green that we want, and the amount of blue that we want. And that's what these three numbers are actually indicating. This first number is the amount of red, the second number is the amount of green, and the third number is the amount of blue. And because of the way binary numbers work, zero means zero, it means don't have any of it. And to be, to be full, to have as much of it as possible, uh, the maximum number is 255. If you try putting numbers bigger than 255 in here, uh, I imagine it's going to crash and cause you a, possibly a line error appearing on your micro bit. If I just quickly flash that on there, let's see if it proves me correct. Yeah. Okay, so we're getting a line error. It wasn't able to run the program. So 255 is the highest you can go. Uh, so just to prove my point that the first number is red, the second number is green and the third one is blue. So I'm going to flash uh, that value there. Actually, what I should do is now say LEDs1, uh, set that to zero for the red, 
well, there we go. So 25500, that's gone red. Uh, let's turn on the green all the way. And then for LED is for the third one, zero red, zero green, and all the way on with the blue. And if I flash that, so we should get red, green, blue once that has finished loading onto my micro bit. Okay, which it has. So you can see that we, we can now mix these colors together to create whatever we want. So what I would actually suggest, rather than having to make all these codes manually all the time, and you can recognize that this is just an, uh, a Python list, right? It's just a list of three values in it. Uh, so I'd suggest making up some Python lists, uh, something like this. Okay, so red, green, blue, 255, zero, zero, green is zero, 255, zero, and blue is zero, zero, 255. And so then that means anytime I want to set an LED to red, I don't need to remember its code. I can just type out, I want red. I want this one green, and I want this one blue. Right, whoops. And in the same way, I can start making up other colors, right? and I might want to keep it, keep it nice and neat like this, so I can keep track of what's going on. All right, so white is everything, everything, black is all zeros. Uh, so something like magenta or purple right, is a combination of red and blue. So red, no green, but I do want blue. Uh, yellow, is a combination of red and green. And so I can look up all these colors and let's just assign some LEDs to these just to test them out. So what am I up to? LED three can be white. Uh, the fourth one can be black. And then let's go for magenta. Yellow, uh, and then something like like a pink, right? Would be um, kind of like a a little bit of white, but an emphasis on red. Okay, so really what you're doing is you're adding a little bit of dull light um, from your red and your from your green and your blue. So um, what I would suggest is you might want to look up some color codes on the internet for this. Okay, so if I experiment, let's see if this gives me a decent pink or not. All right, and let's flash that onto the micro bit. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so red, green, blue, white, black, magenta, yellow, and that's supposed to be a pink. It's quite bright, All right, so I might need to turn down the green and the blue on it. But you can, you get the idea. You can experiment with these. All right, so that's that's the basics of how the NeoPixels work. And now we can turn this into whatever kind of artwork we can imagine. So uh, the key is, after I set my values, to actually make it work on the micro bit, I need this LED show command. Right, so I could have, if I've got eight LEDs, which is what you, you guys have, I could have some kind of, you know, some um, number equals, start with a number zero, and while the number is less than uh, eight, um, I could say, all right, let's make that LED, whatever is inside number, let's set it to white. Uh, and so what this will do is let's set them all to black first and then do LED show. And this time in here, I'm gonna put the LED show inside my loop, all right? So what this will do is this will set everything to black and show, so it will turn everything off. All right? And we, maybe we make it go to sleep for a second after it's turned everything off. And then here, yeah, let's put in a sleep command for this one as well. Just half a second. 
right? Uh, ooh, one, one other key thing also missing is I need to add, increase my number by one each time. Okay, so number starts off at zero. Oh. <laughs> and uh, this is what I get for winging it in the video. Let's increase numbers there and then I need to reset number back to zero before I do another loop. Okay. So number starts off at zero. While number is less than eight, set the LED for that number to black and then increase number. So this will loop through eight times. So it'll do number zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and set them all to black and then bang, make all the LEDs go black. All right, so that will turn them all off. Then I set my number back to zero again and while number is less than zero, I'm gonna set LED of that number to white, make it show, and then go to sleep for half a second. Increase the number, come back in and loop again. And if I've done this correctly, what we'll see is this LED turn on, and then half a second later, this one turn on, half a second later, this one turn on, half a second later, so on like that. And so we'll get a walking trail uh, go through. So let's flash this onto the micro bit. So it should all turn off, one second, and then half a second each of these LEDs turn on until all eight are turned on as white. There we go. So we can get a growing pattern. Maybe I only want one LED at a time from doing this. All right, so that means as I set one to white, I need to set everything else back to black. Um, I'm gonna, I wasn't planning to do this, but I'm gonna show you quickly how to make a very simple function. Uh, our function is basic, is to create our own commands inside Python uh, so that we can call it rather than, because otherwise what I'm anticipating here is this is the code that makes it, this is the code that makes it go black. I'm gonna to have to copy and paste this every time I want to reset my NeoPixel, right? So any kind of animated thing I'm gonna to have to keep on doing it. And, and I don't want that, that's a bit of a hassle. So I'm gonna make a define, so def, a def short for define, uh, and I'm gonna create a function. So let's call it go underscore black. Open close brackets, colon. And just like if statements, while loops and for loops, every time I use a colon, I indent, you see I hit enter, Python has indented. So this code here that makes it all go black, I'm gonna indent and make that part of the go black function. Right. And so once I stop my indentation, it is the end of the function. Now functions so will not run unless I specify their name elsewhere. And so that because the first thing I wanted to happen was for it to go black, I'm gonna type go black here, put in a set of brackets. So now what's going on here? I'm loading my micro bit stuff, I'm setting up my NeoPixel, I'm defining my colors. I'm defining a function called go black. And then here I'm saying, find the command go black and run it. So Python will jump up here and run this and this will make my uh, NeoPixels all turn off. That will run, go to sleep and then keep on going. And so let, let's just flash this again and make sure that it works as expected. So, um, okay, so everything will go black, which is done, and then we get the white trail. But what I want this time is I want to put my go black as part of this. And what this will do is it will mean I only have one LED that is on at a time. All right, I'm gonna turn on this one, and then I'm gonna go into the while loop again, make every, make every turn them all off, turn this one on. Turn them all off, turn this one on. Turn them all off, turn this one on. Let's flash that. So I'll get a single LED moving up rather than having a growing band of all of them. There we go. Now obviously I can make it go as fast as I want. Uh, and I can keep on looping forever as well, right? Instead of number here being, let's make this a true. Now I need to keep in mind, if in your case, if you've only got eight LEDs, 
you can only set a number here between 0 and 7. If you try to put in a number 8, you'll get a line error. So once, no, once if number equals 8, let's set it back to 0 so that we never go over. And what this will do is give us a running moving LED. And I'm going to speed it up. I'm going to go from 500. Let's go to 200. If I flash that onto the micro bit, I should now get a single white light running across my screen. Okay. Of course, I'd, I'm not restricted to white. I can make this blue. Maybe I want a, if I've got blue running across, maybe I want a red one coming back the other way. Well, how can I do that? Math. Programming always comes down to math. If this is a number between zero and seven, then I should be able to put in here LED seven minus number, and I'll get an, the LED at the other end. So when, the, when LED zero is going seven, Sorry, when LED zero is going blue, it means I can set LED seven to red. And then when LED one is blue, I can set LED six to red and so on. So I'll have different LEDs crossing their paths. Let's flash this and see if it works. And there we go got crossing over numbers uh, kind of almost looks like police blinkers doesn't it uh, especially if I speed it up let's make it go a lot faster so you can see uh, neo pixels allow us to be quite creative and you can certainly mix it in with some uh, with the music and end up with some really cool fun happening so do enjoy playing around with your NeoPixels, see what creativity you can come up with. Uh, this is Mr. Baumgarten, signing off.